So in today's video, we are going to be testing out the Goofoto flexible tripod and remote trigger. Uh, the company that makes this actually reached out to me and said, hey, would you test our product? And I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. Send it over. I'd love to test it. So it, it comes with, uh, it has basically three flexible legs uh, that you can wrap around stuff like a tree. I'm going to try wrapping it around my uh, one wheel and seeing if it will hold onto my one wheel while I'm riding it. I think that'll be an excellent test. It also comes with a remote trigger that will allow you to set it up and take a selfie picture or possibly even cue video remotely. Let's get into it. All right, here we go. Uh, it says right there, it says camera, 360, iOS, and Android. Here is the device. So right away, the legs are pretty much straight out of the box. And then it looks like you use this to tighten it down. Part for a phone. See how these bend. I kind of like the way they bend. It feels like you could make them pretty much any shape and that they're going to stay like that. There's definitely some play here in the leg. All right, guys. So I've been playing with this. Uh, this tripod for about a week now and one of the things that at first uh, I threw me off because I was more used to like a Joby is the fact that the legs are they kind of move around they have play play to them so uh, it actually is by design so I think the real reason for that is if you want to hold it like this it easily separates out to a tripod that you can you can sit sit down so that you don't have to like with a Joby like bend them bend them out now you can still bend them if you want like a wider wider stance with it, it you can still bend them uh out um you know it's just i think it's just part of the design and it's it's really not a problem the top part it you know it doesn't sound that great but it's it's been working fine you can hear the springs in there but um so one of the things that i was kind of impressed with is even with my phone case on it actually works and i you know a lot of things that i you have to take the phone case off, and it seems like they've accounted for larger phone, larger case, and it really, once you tighten this down, I mean, it's, you can see it's not really going anywhere. It's definitely, you know, going to hold on to your phone. You know, I mean, this is, a, this is an expensive, expensive iPhone. This is the most expensive one, so I feel comfortable having it on, on there. It does have a little ball head here at the top. The ball head, I think, it moves around decently. I do think that they could have given us maybe just a little bit more movement, but it's not bad. It's definitely doable. Uh, it also flips this way so that you can hold it that way. And then, of course, you can flip your phone around like this. I don't know if you can see that, but so like if you want to get like a forward shot. Also on the back, there is another threadable piece. So what you can do is if you remove this, which I need to tighten this down first. See if I can get it unthreaded. All right, there we go. I'm gonna take my phone out first. So basically what this allows you to do, let me zoom in here just a little bit. Yeah, that's better. Okay, so you can actually take that bottom piece and thread it on like this. And now it's sort of like this, and then you can put your phone in there. So you can hold it just like this. It's more for like a, sel a selfie. A selfie mode at that point. There you go. You have sort of a vertical mode as well. I'm going to put it back the other way before we do our outside test. Oh. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm going to test this by uh, basically mounting this tripod down here. I'm going to basically just mount this right on on to, to here. So that's sort of my goal is to it just, it's got three legs and you notice how I said that they had play earlier. Well, I don't, I don't think that matters because, you know, as long as you hook them like this, 
wrap them around. I believe that's going to stay right there. I think I could go vertical. Let's do vertical. All right, so let's do like a, a tree limb test and wrap it around. Wow, those like go so much easier than a Joby because you don't have those like balls to fight with. Look at that. I really, I mean, it's nice and stable. I mean, I think it, it does what it set out to do. All right, and now for the vlog style test. So I am riding my one wheel up here on the trails behind my house. And I feel like this is pretty stable. I mean, it's comfortable. That's one of the things I got to say about this is, I mean, the, the legs are really comfortable. They're rubbery, grippy. You can bend them all sorts of ways and they just kind of stay there. You know, I don't know about longevity, but I, I mean, it feels like it's really good quality. What are you guys doing? We're just going to trampoline. All right, guys. So sorry about my, my neighbors are mowing their yard. So sorry about the lawnmower. I don't know if I can clean that up in post. I'll give it a try. But so anyway, I, I went ahead and put an ADD on there with a video mic pro just just for just for kick, kicks and giggles. It's it's it works, but I feel like it's maybe this is maybe just a little bit more than what this was designed for. Like, I mean, if you you move it. It also doesn't have a locking mechanism for for your camera. So if you have a more expensive camera, um, you probably want to have a secondary way to in case that in case the thread become loose. Oh yeah! Hi, Daddy! Hey, kids! I mean, if you're going to use it with an ADD or DSLR, I would just recommend having some kind of safety cable. Um, I don't see why it wouldn't work otherwise. I mean, it's definitely more versatile than like a Joby. You know how Jobies tend to be a little bit, a little bit hard to bend and everything. This definitely doesn't have that issue. All right, so do the old ADD test on the tree. I don't know, guys. I mean, I think it works. What do you think? And it actually works with the legs extended and it seems to stay in place. All right, guys. So just a quick word on this little guy. This is the remote trigger that came with the device. Basically, you just power it on like this and then that sort of puts it into uh, into pairing mode. And once it's in pairing mode, then you go into the settings on your device. It will show up uh, as a goo photo. You just tap on it, you select pair. And then from that point on, whenever this device is turned on and you're in your camera app, and this actually works with photo or video, it will, uh, it will depress the shutter so you can take a picture or uh, you can start a video or stop a video. So pretty, pretty convenient feature, I must say. I'll definitely be using that. I did try pairing it with my Canon 80D, my 6D Mark II, and my R5. Would not pair with Canon. Uh, I don't think it's intended to work that way. It's a compatibility issue. Goo Photo, if you're watching, I would recommend making one of these for Canon cameras. So anyways, that's gonna be it for this particular video. I really appreciate you sticking around to the end with me. If you're interested in picking up the Goo Photo flexible tripod, uh, there will be links down in the description. Uh, this video is in no way sponsored, uh, but they did send me this tripod for free and I'm, I'm super, super happy with it. I'm going to take it with me in my bag. Uh, it's definitely a good little tripod to have on the road. If you have any questions, feel free to reach me down in the comments. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next one.